Hello everyone, I'm Caroline and welcome to my home on the hillside here in Wales. It's lovely for you to pop in because we're going to have a haul video. And the first thing I found was this. It's a Vera can, probably. Um, just Paris, France. It's got a beautiful shoe in black, white and red. Some of my favourite colour combinations and it cost me a pound. Now, I normally buy things to upcycle or to use for parts when I'm doing my haul. Sometimes I keep things, but this one's definitely going to be one of those I keep. I just love it. It's just everything I love in an image. It's very nice shirt. It's got this burlap fabric that's all stuck to. Schmidt & Co. So, hmm, that sounds very German or Austrian, doesn't it? But... Whatever it is, I love it and I'm keeping this and I think it's absolutely gorgeous. What do you think? Do you like this sort of thing or do you think I'm perhaps a little crazy for liking this? Right, let's have a look at next. I do love a bargain and I've been looking at these and they have been silly prices. Even in the thrift stores, they were so expensive. I thought, no, I'll wait. I'm sure one will come along sooner or later and my patience was rewarded. Now, it is grubby. If I show you that. You can see all the dust and things that really needs a good clean. It's very greasy and ugh. But look at this. This is the most interesting part. The price tag. Two pounds. But before you get excited, it wasn't two pounds. It was half off, so it was one pound. Look at that for a pound. I absolutely love it. That is going to look lovely on my dress. And I'm also going to figure out if there's any way I can upcycle this. I think there is. I think I could possibly put this on a riser with some eggs or something in. Or maybe not even eggs. Use it to store kitchen utensils or something like that. I think this is going to be a lot of fun to come up with a plan for. And if I can't come up with a plan, then definitely it will be going on my dresser. But I think that I'm going to use it for something. Not sure yet, so keep an eye out in the videos that come up because he'll be there somewhere. Wop, 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 wop. Right, let's have a look what's next. If you're enjoying this whole video already, then please give me a like or a thumbs up because that would be great and it really helps out my channel. I will be so grateful. Thank you ever so much. Lateral thinking puzzles. Now, I saw this and it reminded me of tumbling blocks. And I thought, hmm, oh, it looks like there's quite a few bits of wood in there I could use. Obviously, not the shape of tumbling blocks. And it cost me 50p. There's my Mr. On. Woo! And let's have a look inside. Now, it wasn't quite what I was expecting. I thought these were little triangles. I thought, oh, perfect. But they're not. <laughs> they're like that. They're really weird, aren't they? So, uh, you know, it's not really going to... I thought if they were just this size. No, I can cut them, but then they're not going to stick on very much like that, are they? So I'm going to have to come up with something creative to do with these. I'm sure I will. They look like a lot of fun, actually. I think they would be good as a design for children's playing blocks as well as some sort of creative puzzle. Look at that. Hmm. Anyway, I'm not going to carry on playing. I'll show you the different shapes. We've got some little... These look like handles. And we've got these, which have got little sticky out bits. I'm not sure what the technical term is. And we got these. So I'm not quite sure how they all go together. But I'm not going to put them together. I'm going to use them for different things. Like these would be good for feet. You're standing, put them on either end of something and they're nice and solid. Or even I could put a picture frame in there without a back. And it will hold it up if I put one either side. I could use it to display pictures. So that has got an awful lot of potential. 50p, it's a lot of wood. And again, I love anything that's going to stretch my brain. Okay, then, what are you going to do with that? Hmm. <laughs> I'll let you know if I come up with something. What will you do with that? Can you think of anything you could use that for? It looks a bit like a boat. Hmm. On the other hand, again, it's going to be very difficult to put on anything because it's got this point. It has decided to be a real challenge. So let's pop those away and see what's next. Something pretty next. This was a pound, but everything was half off, so I got it for 50p. And look, it's a beautiful cranberry glass. It's new. It's modern. It's probably, oh, I don't know, hardly older than my dinner. But it's so pretty, so gorgeous, and I can use this either as a riser, so you can put something on there, 
or I can make some garden art with lots of different colour glass. I am saving up lots of coloured glass because I want to make something quite big and substantial and pretty for the garden, which I think would look lovely. You imagine that with the sun shining through. Absolutely gorgeous. Right, moving on. I've got this. Look at that. It's a Siamese cat. Look at that. 50p. It's vintage. Got a very cute little face. My light is making it look a little bit creepy, isn't it? It's not really that creepy. There we go. Mm, still a bit shiny. But it's absolutely beautiful. It's vintage. It's got 332E on the bottom. I don't know if that's relevant at all. But a 50p, he's going to look lovely on some of my... Well, I could even do a, a cat-based wreath and put that in the centre of the wreath. You can come up with lots of things. You can just stand him by something. You can stand him on something. If you had a pair... You could put a plank along the top and have two cats holding up your shelf. But I've only got one, so that's not going to be happening. I suppose you could use it in a tiered tray. You could sit him on something flat and then put a plate on top. I don't know if he'd be very happy, though, being used as something to hold something up on his head or her head. Oh, poor thing. Perhaps we won't. <laughs> oh, but he's very cute for 50p. I couldn't leave him there. Right, so now we're going to slow down the proceedings because I got these for a pound. Let's have a look what's inside. I do love bargain buys of ribbons. Now, the one thing I saw that was in here is wired ribbon. Now, I'm going to be doing Christmas in July. A few people have already said they're really excited about doing Christmas in July, where I'm going to do a different craft every day. And I'd like a lot of wired ribbon. They make the most beautiful bows. So we've been making lots of bows to put on things. You know me. Me and bows, I'm terrible. <laughs> I love it. Bows, bling. So we got that. Let's have a look how much is there, roughly. Put my ruler down. We've got about one, two, three, four. About four yards there. Perhaps four and a half. Right, I'll roll those up later. We've got some just standard red ribbon. Some standard green ribbon. Wow, there's a lot there and very Christmassy. Look at all these, all Christmassy. They're not wired, but they're reds and greens. And we got some white and some pink. Pop those down there. Now, this one's Christmassy. Look at that. Not a lot of this one. It'll be good in a funky bow. There's about 18 inches there. And oh, this is sparkly. Oh, look at that. A bit of glam. Oh, yes, very nice. Let me show you up there. It's got glitter on it. Right, let's check. Oh, it's always difficult to unroll this. Three, about four yards of red, glittery, glammy ribbon. Oh, now this reminds me of when I was a little girl. And I had dressing gowns in this very uncomfortable nylon, but they had bits of frill on. And that really is even the same colour pink. I wonder if that is off the same sort of dressing gown I used to wear. I've also got this one here. I wonder if somebody cut these off something or whether they bought them as vintage trimmings. I can't see any sewing, so I think they're new. And there we got the lilac. Oh, they're lovely. Now they will make a lovely Christmas tree. Should you get a cone and decorate them? Or decorate it with those, I should say. Oh, yes, lovely. Oh, I like that. And that also do a lovely edging around things. I wouldn't use it on this, but that sort of thing. You could edge things with a little bit of lace. There are so many things you can do with a bit of lace. I've got a bit of black ribbon. Mm, about 18 inches. Not wired. And some fine ribbons. Yeah, i just show you. I don't want to take too long on the plain ribbons. I'm sure you've all seen ribbon before. It is nice to see what was in the bag. Uh, we got some blue. Uh, those. And some organza. A little bit of elastic ribbon. Uh, if we put those down. A little bit of gingham. I love gingham. So that is gorgeous. And that's going to look so good on some country projects. And this. Another real true vintage braid or edging. That, I think, is going to look really lovely on a Christmas wreath. That's more red. So let's have a look in this bag. Ooh, what's in here? <clears throat> a 
excuse me, just grab me a drink of water and empty all this out. Ooh, lots of sparklies. That's pretty, but this, look at that. Oh, it's really shimmery. And we've got more wired ribbon there. It's like a Cadbury's purple, isn't it? Oh, I love that. Imagine that in a bow. That is going to be amazing. Oh, look at that. And then one in the middle and then floof it up. You get the idea. That is going to be spectacular. Oh, I can't wait to use these. And we've got, what's this? Oh, aeroplanes and helicopters, as you do. Some shoelaces. Oh, more pretty Christmas ribbon. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? More plain, so you won't dwell on the plain. Lots of it. And is this wired? No, it's just like school ribbon. Oh, it is wired. No, it's not. I used to have ribbons like this in my hair when I was a little girl. Yes, reminds me of... The evenings when your mum would take your ponytails out and, oh, my scalp would really itch where it'd been so tightly tied all day. So let's have a look. we got one, two, three, about four, uh, four feet of that. we got some Winnie the Pooh ribbon. <laughs> some Christmas Winnie the Pooh. And more Christmas Winnie the Pooh. And some plain gross grain. Some beautiful, oh, it's stretchy lace. Doing, doing, doing. And some cord. I love cord. Cord, rope, twine. I can do so much with it. And some organza silver ribbon. So all that for a pound. And I'm going to have a good look at it later because I love playing with ribbon and lace and things like that. Right, let's have a look what else we've got. I've got this watering can. And this was 2 99 reduced to 1 49 Now, isn't that lovely? I don't know whether I like this look, but I still think I may paint over it. I'm not quite sure yet because I'd like it lighter. I like lighter things on my decoration, even though I know darker wood is coming back in now. I think to put dark decorations on dark wood isn't so nice. So I think this will be getting lightened up. And perhaps we put a little decal on there, something, or perhaps some words or a little garden symbol, something like that. And it's... It's chunky. It's one of those tactile chunky things. You know, it's really comfortable in the hand. Very nice. I love it. Right, next. Frames. You know me and frames. I can't help it. There's a 50p frame section in our local charity shop and I have to check it every time. Ooh. Look at these. I don't know if I can show you in there. It's actually a proper little basket weave with lots of florals in. It's very dirty and grubby. And there's another one. So I think they're supposed to be booties because one face in the other. I don't know which way you put it. Either either way isn't very natural to stand, is it? But I think they're little booties. And they've never been used. Somebody bought these. The corners are still on them. They're a lovely shadow box anyway. And I'm thinking I could use these little basket weave boots for something perhaps. I can use all the dried florals. So I'll probably take those apart and have all the little bits and I think I've got quite a bit of material there for one pound for the two of these so I'm very pleased with those I don't know why they look like they should be sort of 50s 60s with this sort of basket weave but this sort of box is definitely not 50s or 60s I think it may be I'm, I'm not sure I'm not quite sure where they came from there's nothing written on them but they're not to my style anyway. I definitely need to take these things out, change this coffee mount in there for a different colour or take it out completely. But at a pound, I'm very happy with those. I've also got... These were one pound for two. So I've got a matching pair of bed vases. They're silver plated. They're quite vintage. They're probably about 30 years old, something like that. The tops come out, so I could polish these up. The only thing with silver plate, you have to be careful when you polish them because you can take the fine layer of plating off and then you're down to the brass. Ah, this has got a name, silver plated. I can't really read that. I think it's J2 of England. 
So I could use these, probably I'll use them as risers. Could use them joined together like that as a very large riser and then put a candle on the top. Oh, now wouldn't that be pretty? Mm, even if I could find something to go in between two, then that would make a very large candlestick, put it that way. Um, if, for example, I know I wouldn't be using a roll of ribbon, but something like that, that would make all painted up in the single colour, would make something quite large and quite interesting, wouldn't it? Oh, I like that, especially for Christmas time with lots of flowers and um, leaves, berries, a little bit of, I don't know. No, I wouldn't put tinsel on. Some more natural elements. I think that could be lovely. And of course, I put a bow on it because I love my bows. <laughs> so those two and the tops. And if I don't use the tops on this and I could use these, they actually make, they look quite nice as embellishments for almost like a jewel to go on something. Or I could use them as wheels on a coach. Or wheels on a car if I painted them black. So that, again, for a pound, the potential you can buy at the thrift store is amazing. If you go into something like Hobby Lobby or um, Hobby Craft in the UK, you don't come out with much for ten pound. You go into a charity shop and try to open your mind a little bit and look at things differently, and you come out with such a lot of potential. So charity shop thrift store that's the one for me mainly it's only things i can't get like for instance i buy myself rolls of ribbon and things like that from either online or from shops then again i had these from a charity shop lots and lots of these i think i paid three pound for three rolls and they were huge i've used a lot of that right let's have a look what else we got from my favorite shop that has a 10p glasses shelf or glassware i got two little kilner jars I'm forever finding things like this. 10p. You can't leave them there at 10p. And you can paint them up. You can just use them as little simple vases or vases if you don't want to potch about. You just want to do something quickly. I can't see any florals I've got to hand. Ah, I have got a blue bird's egg on a stick. <laughs> so if you wanted to put a blue bird's egg on a stick in something, you can put it in there. I'm painting these for one of my projects. And... Having the two of them is always nice. A third would have been better. I like things in threes. But two is fine. I'm sure I'll be able to come up with something like that. What would you do with these? You could even fill these with some chocolate, drinking chocolate or cocoa powder and some marshmallows. Put a lovely little bow on the top, red and white stripe, and a little gift tag and give them to people for Christmas, couldn't you? So much potential for 20 B. And I've got this. It cost a pound, and I wasn't sure whether to buy it or not. This has come out now, so I'm going to take it out. Ooh, there we go. Still quite whole. Didn't completely demolish it. So there are a few interesting florals on there, but this is what I really liked. I think that's going to look lovely with something like an Easter bunny in it, or Christmas even again. And if I can get a sort of top to go on the top there, like a handle, and turn it into an unusual shaped cloche. I think that would be nice too. You could turn it up that way. And if you make yourself a little support or use, um, let's have a look what we got. What did we buy? Well, I've got this. It's a jar we picked up when we were mudlarking, new mall bodybuilder. You could pop that in there to support it. You've got yourself a vase or a vase. I don't think that's going to work. But anything else I've got here is too short or too fat. Things are going to wobble around a lot. But that, again, I mean, I could leave it as it is. You could spray paint this in whatever colour your decor is. So you could paint it white or you could perhaps put some pale blue or green, something like that on it, and then pop it back in, change the ribbon, and you've got something that suits perfectly. But I want the challenge. Again, I love the challenge of doing something unusual. So I'm not sure what it'll be. But I'll be coming up with something unusual with that. Let's see if we can get these back in without snapping them off. Oh, I don't think so. I get a very messy desk. Look at that. So we put those there. And I'll pop that there. And then while I'm saying goodbye, put my chicken there as well. <laughs> so then you've got something to look at. So thank you ever so much for joining me for my haul video. I hope you've enjoyed it. And these items will be coming up in craft videos over the next few weeks if you want to see something like all the crafts i done for country style then up there i'll put a video 
and it'll be my playlist of all the country style crafts that I've done so far and I'll be adding more as I go along. So thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time. But until then, don't forget, have fun.